Hi, I'm Jerry James Stone, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make one of my favorite salads. It's so simple, but so delicious. It's a cucumber and red onion salad that's tossed in a Greek yogurt or sour cream dressing. I'm using Greek yogurt in this recipe. Super simple, really refreshing, great, tasty. I think you're gonna love it, so let's get to making it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna start off with, like I said, we're, I'm using Greek yogurt. You can use regular yogurt, you can use sour cream. Um, I just like the Greek yogurt version of this, so that's what I'm starting out with. So I'm starting out with some Greek yogurt. I'm gonna use, I have a, kind of a shallow bowl here, as you can see, and I'm gonna use one of my favorite whisking utensils. Um, I like the traditional whisk, depending on like what I'm using it for, but what I love about this is because it's flat, it just really scrapes that bottom. So I, I don't know, I love this style of whisk. So I'm gonna start off by adding in some vinegar and just a little bit of milk, some sea salt. And I'm gonna mix that together just to start. So just to get that all kind of worked in. Like I said, I really love this flat whisk. It just scrapes all the bits in there. So if you're mixing up something that's, you know, not particularly deep, but has a lot of ingredients, it's really great for that. Now, depending on what you use, whether you use sour cream, yogurt, or Greek yogurt, those are all pretty different consistencies. So you just wanna make sure that you have, um, once you've added in the vinegar, once you've added in the milk, it should be a little bit on the thin side. This dressing is not particularly thick, so you don't want it like mayo or anything like that. I'm gonna add in some minced garlic. Now I'm gonna add in some freshly chopped dill and just whisk all that together. It smells so good. It's like you, you can smell that garlic and that fresh dill and the vinegar. <laughs> just, the salad is so refreshing. That's what I really love about it. It's just really, really refreshing. Okay, now I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna chop up my cucumbers. So I'm actually gonna use my vegetable spiralizer to actually make ribbons out of the cucumber, which is not typically how you see this salad presented. You just usually just sliced, but I'm using an English cucumber, which has a much thinner peel than a standard cucumber. And it's considered seedless, though it's really not. The seeds are just really small, so they don't like impose much of a structural integrity issue with the cucumber. So I'm gonna actually just make these ribbons using this spiralizer. But if you're using a standard cucumber, you probably would want to peel it. You might just want to slice it or you could spiralize it yourself. And I think with the ribbons, it's just going to kind of look like pasta. I don't know. It's going to be a little fun. So and I don't want just one long ribbon, so I'm going to break that off. <laughs> There's a lot of different spiralizer brands out there. Um, I really like this one. I'll share the brand with you at the end. There's like hand ones, which I just don't think worked so well. This one is a little pricier than probably the average one, but if you're looking for a spiralizer, you want to eat more vegetables, I go for quality. Now I'm just going to do the rest of them. Next, I'm using an English cucumber here. I think it would also be fun to do noodles and have this look like a pasta dish. And like I said, I'm using an English cucumber and because it's a thin skin, um, you can leave it on because it doesn't add too much bitterness to it. Um, but because they're ribbons, you get a little bit more structure with it. So, uh, which I think is just a nice visual. And we're almost done. The funny thing about noodlers is that you get this little weird part that's left over where that holds it in place. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and toss the cucumbers in the dressing. Just kind of slowly work it in there. Try not to break apart all the ribbons I just made. Every time I Toss a little waft of that fresh dill. It's so nice. There we go. Okay. 
So made our dressing, our Greek yogurt dressing with the dill and the fresh garlic. We made our cucumber ribbons with the English cucumber. Now I'm just gonna julienne a little bit of some red onion to toss in with the salad. I have a lot of videos on my channel on how to peel onions, dice onions, slice onions, make onion rings, everything that you wanna do with an onion, I have a video for. So if you're unsure of what I'm doing right now, be sure to check those out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make some really, cut off just a little bit to get us started there. Just really thin onion slices. I don't want the onion to overpower the cucumber. There we go. Just add a little bit of red onion in there. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add those julienne red onions to my salad, breaking them up. So I toss them in. Now just toss it all together. Just kind of gently fold it around. You so you don't wanna overwork it. I think it needs a little bit more red onion, so I'm gonna go ahead and slice just a little bit more. There we go. That's looking pretty good. I said, oh, you can see, uh, see how far I can lift these up. Hopefully they won't all break. <laughs> we can see the fun little cucumber ribbons there, right? So it's pretty good to go. I'm just gonna top it all off with a little fresh dill. One thing it needs, fresh cracked pepper. So got my little grinder there, get some pepper in there. Oh yeah, okay. Now I need to taste it. Try to find a ribbon that's not too long. <laughs> They're all pretty long. Let me see here. That one's looking pretty good. Get some of the dressing on there. Okay. Oh, it smells so good. Hmm. Tangy from the vinegar and the yogurt, all that garlic and dill, super good. Okay, try this recipe. Let me know what you think. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you like to cook like I do, hey, I release new videos every single week, so be sure to subscribe. If there's something that you wanna see, drop a comment. I'm gonna go eat some salad. See you guys next time.